Hi everyone, I'm Thomas and today we're going through amazing Afghanistan. In this video, we will embark on a journey through a country with an ancient history, impressive landscapes and a rich and diverse culture. From the majestic mountains of the Hindu Kush to the ancient bazaars of Kabul, Afghanistan is a place full of wonders to discover. We will explore its historic cities, such as Herat and Mazar-e Sharif. We will learn about the hospitality and resilience of its people, and we will delve into the traditions and unique flavors of its cuisine. Join me on this fascinating adventure to discover everything Afghanistan has to offer. Hello everyone, I'm Andy, and I'll accompany you to discover amazing Afghanistan. Are you ready for the adventure? Come on! Afghanistan Afghanistan is located in Central Asia, bordered to the north by Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan, to the west by Iran, to the south and east by Pakistan, and to the northwest by the People's Republic of China. Capital Kabul Afghanistan is a multilingual country where the two most spoken languages, Pashto and Dari, are official. Dari is the official name of the Persian language in Afghanistan. It is often referred to as Afghan Persian. They are Indo-European languages within the Iranian language group. Approximately 99.7% of the population in Afghanistan profess Islam, but among them, different variants of Islam can be found. 90% of that percentage practices Sunni Islam, 9.7% profess Shiite Islam, and the remaining 0.3% other minority religions, such as Hinduism or Buddhism. Hinduism and Buddhism were the dominant religions in Afghanistan before the arrival of Islam. The official currency of Afghanistan is the Afghan Afghani. One Afghan Afghani equals 0.014 United States dollar. The climate can be classified as extreme continental and arid, with scant precipitation limited to winter and spring, although it varies greatly depending on the area and altitude. This was a great start about Afghanistan. Now, let's get to the news. Come on! Current Situation in Afghanistan The Islamic Republic of Afghanistan is a presidential system where the executive branch of government is composed of a president elected by the people and two vice presidents. The president appoints ministers, the attorney general, and judges of the Supreme Court. Afghanistan's economy is recovering from decades of conflict and has improved since the fall of the Taliban regime in 2001, especially due to foreign aid, agricultural recovery, and the growth of the services sector. GDP had a growth peak. However, growth has slowed down and GDP per capita has remained practically constant. Currently, under the Taliban regime again, economic statistics are not public, however, the latest estimates indicated that the GDP per capita in the case of Afghanistan, in 2021, was 312 euro euros. Its inhabitants have a very low standard of living in relation to GDP per capita. Afghanistan is a country rich in natural resources, from coal, oil, and natural gas to gold, copper, rare earths, and gemstones. According to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, 97% of the Afghan population lived in poverty, while in 2020 the percentage was 47%. Lack of social protection led families to resort to options such as early marriage and organ trafficking. Travel to Afghanistan is strongly discouraged under any circumstances. Please remember that there is a risk of kidnapping or attack throughout the country. Things to see and do in Afghanistan. Bumiyan, a traditional pilgrimage destination, its name is now associated with the destruction suffered by Afghan culture in the war. The two gigantic Buddha statues that dominated the valley now lie in pieces, victims of the iconoclastic fury of the Taliban. However, it remains a beautiful place. Herat As Persian as it is Afghan, it has the independent air of having been the ancient cultural heart of the country. Many of its monuments are in a sorry state, but the Friday Mosque, 800 years old, remains one of the great buildings of Islam, a masterful lesson in mosaic art, whose colors and details are a lushum of praise to Allah. Typical Afghan food Kabili Palaw, a national dish. Meat and broth are added, and they are covered with fried raisins, sliced carrots, and pistachios. This was all about his news in Afghanistan. Now, let's get to your curiosities. 
Come on. Curiosities about Afghanistan. 1. Afghanistan is one of the most mountainous countries in the world, with an average altitude of over 1,000 meters above sea level. 2. Afghanistan has been the scene of many armed conflicts in recent decades, including the Soviet-Afghan War, the Civil War, and the U.S.-led invasion in 2001. 3. The territory that is now Afghanistan has been conquered by many empires throughout history, including the Persians, Macedonians, Mongols, Timurids, and British. 4. The city of Kandahar in Afghanistan is considered by many as the birthplace of the Taliban movement. 5. Afghanistan is the world's largest producer of opium, an illegal drug obtained from the poppy plant. 6. Afghanistan's education system has been severely affected by decades of armed conflict, leading to a very low literacy rate compared to other countries in the region. 7. Afghanistan is a very young country, with over 60% of the population under 25 years old. 8. Women in Afghanistan often wear burqas, which are a kind of gown that covers the entire body and face, leaving only a small opening for the eyes. 9. Afghanistan is known for its art and craftsmanship, such as ceramics, jewelry, and tapestry. 10. In Afghanistan, men often wear traditional clothing called shawl or kameez, which consists of loose pants and a tunic. Whoa! The curiosities were very interesting, don't you think? Now, let's get to the history. History about Afghanistan Afghanistan's history is a complex tapestry of cultures, conflicts, and conquests. Over millennia, its location at the crossroads of Central Asia has attracted the attention of empires and civilizations. From the ancient peoples of the Silk Road to the Soviet invasion in 1979, Afghanistan has witnessed countless invasions and wars. In 1996, the Taliban took control, imposing a fundamentalist regime that brought repression and violence, especially against women. However, following the September 11, 2001 attacks, the United States led an invasion to overthrow the Taliban and pursue Al-Qaeda. This led to years of conflict and foreign occupation. Despite efforts to establish stability and democracy, Afghanistan remains a country marked by political instability, Taliban insurgency, and power struggles. The withdrawal of U.S. troops in 2021 left a power vacuum, and Afghanistan continues to face significant challenges on its path to peace and prosperity. This was all about Afghanistan. Now, let's get to some questions for fun. Come on! Thanks for joining us on this journey. Yeah! I hope you've enjoyed the blend of history and charm. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and, of course, subscribe for more adventures. See you at the next destination. Bye for now.